think about what this is. This is a website meant to communicate information between individuals. A website, to put it in the most bare bones way, is a bunch of numbers being shot back at each other that are made with the specific intention of creating a action that you input those numbers and then action happens on screen. Humans created that. Humans had to create electricity, etc. in order to make that happen. In order for any of this to take place, we had to constantly build upon the technology we already had. Take language, for example. Language had to have been created for any of this to even take place. We wouldn't be able to communicate technologies to other individuals, and they wouldn't be able to build upon the technology we already had. Fast forward to now. The website I am reading is Oboe-chan. This is one of my favorite websites on the entire internet. Right now, I am reading a conversation between a bunch of different people. And what's amazing to me about this is that through every image, an emotion is communicated and each image seems to represent something about that specific culture. Think of mimetic images like Pepe. All of these things seem to say something innately about that culture that becomes because these individuals all ended up in the same place, these mimetic images that they choose all has to broadly do with what these people are about. Now that doesn't mean there aren't disputes within that culture, but broadly speaking, the culture is homogenous in nature. That's really cool, because think about what language is. Language is simply a communication of ideas and of what people are, but what people are cannot really be facilitated without language. There are elements of what we are that can be brought about simply through thoughts. Thoughts don't necessarily have to be brought about by language, but language builds upon those thoughts and makes the thoughts even more intense and unique. Because we have language to communicate our ideas, our ability to interpret and make new thoughts becomes much greater. This website fascinates me. All websites fascinate me because at their core, they are a communication of language. The websites themselves are just building upon all of these different things that we've made. I, I was sitting here and I was reading through this thread and I just had the realization that because all of this technology and culture was able to build upon itself, I am able to have this experience right now, laying on this bed, sitting here, this computer in, in the lap, just reading this comfy thread, enjoying myself. I'm able to have this experience. And I, I was just sitting here, mind blown by the fact that I can look at letters. Letters exist. I can just look at the letters and I can read them and I can know what these people are saying. I can say, oh yeah, and I know what that word is because I've heard other people say that word, but I recognize the letters that form the sounds that make the word. I had to be taught that. I had to be taught that letters come together and make a word that you can read that you now understand what is when, when you read it. Like, I understand exactly what those words are when I say them, but now when I read them without hearing anybody tell me them, I can interpret what that is. I can see what that is. That's fucking cool. The fact that that's being communicated to me through a, a box right there and that this this website is being held up by an ISP that is maintained by so many different hands. The culture of the website is built upon dozens of different other websites and different other people. The culture all ends up being so specific and insular, despite all these hands being exchanged, and that all of that came from just being able to use language and technology. <laughs> That's fucking cool, dude. Like... Oh my god, and I, I just, I had this moment when I was reading through this thread, because, I mean, this is what I usually do late at night, it's like, yeah, it's 12, 12 at night right now, and um, I, I was just, I just sit here, and I read image boards, um, 
and, and like, I, I especially do that whenever I get, like, a, a sense of loneliness. I either watch YouTube videos or I read image boards, and it puts me at home, and it usually makes me feel happy and good. And as I've stated in the past in my Girls S Tour video, comfiness is simply a state when we a state of mind in which we drink in our existence and we enjoy our existence for what it is without being upset about death or depression or whatever. We just appreciate our existence for exactly what it is. And that's the feeling that I get when I read an image board. And like, reading through this, it, it just hit me how cool it is that this even exists, that I exist in a time when I can read this and in a time where I can talk about it to other people through the internet. I mean, my career on YouTube is just documenting a specific type of person and communicating with others about what that is and resolving uh, disputes within culture. And like, how is this happening? How am I alive at a time where this can happen? It's really cool. Yeah. That's, um, I don't know, when I, when, when moments like this happen, it, it just, it makes me happy that I do exist, and that's a feeling that, you know, especially this year, I've kind of gotten away from. I, uh, I, I appreciate that, you know, this website, that language exists, that all of this is able to happen. These things are not you know, mere entitled entitlements. Like, these are not things that... They seem like you're entitled to them, right? Like, they, they seem like things that are just commonplace. Oh, yes, I learned language in school and so I can read, but think about that. Think about the fact that you can read, that you have enough money to own a computer. Those are gifts. Those are grand, ginormous gifts for you. And while they may seem, you know, extremely commonplace, like everyone has it, I think it's important just to sit down sometimes and realize how complex the processes that even bring those things about is and how cool it is that that exists. And while my situation currently may not be the ideal one internet wise you know i i'm using a shitty cell phone connection that i am then plugging my phone into the computer to use there which makes the cell phone connection even worse i still can read my image boards and i can still sit there and wait about 10 minutes for a podcast to load and then listen to it and uh it may not be as fast as I want it to be. My comfort may not even be ideal, but I've, you know, been able to make a spot for myself where I can lay down, and I've been able to find the things that I am interested in that I like being communicated to me. And sure, it may not be perfect right now, but the fact that these things exist makes me really happy.